Hello, my name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. Hey, if you like card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, I'm going to be doing a routine today. The plot was introduced to the magic community by uh, Ed Marlowe. He called it uh, really real gone aces. It's more of a gag than a trick. But over the years, I've come up with three very different methods to, uh, to get the effect to happen. This is my method number two. Let's take a look. Hey, I'm going to do something with four cards uh, from this deck. Four aces. There they are. You can see them. All four suits. My spade, my heart, my club, and my diamond. And we're going to deal out one ace to each one of our four players. Then I'm going to add three cards on top of each ace. So that's 16 cards total. That's all we're going to use. Now watch our first ace, just a 10. And that guy has disappeared. Let's do that again. Watch ace number two. Another tap, and he vanishes from sight. Our third card right there. A tap, and he just evaporates in the thin air. And amazingly, right over here, just a tap. He's gone, gone, really gone. Those aces have left the group. Hey, if you like the effect, please give it a thumbs up. Now, over the years, I've come up with three very different methods to make this effect happen. This particular version was in my 2004 lecture notes and it was on the presentation DVD. Now, it's primarily a gag for magicians, but I have discovered if you uh, do this, precede this routine with a real ace assembly, a standard ace assembly, and then use this as a follow-up, this can get a great reaction from layman too. Now, if you want to see my favorite impromptu ace assembly, it's called Finally Unassembled, click on that link right over there. And if you love non-gimmick, pure sleight of hand card magic, make sure you click on that subscribe button right over there. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to catch you the next time.